Hello to you, wherever you happen to be. Our action comes to you today from Villa Park. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. And really looking forward to starting this new year with some live football for you. It's Aston Villa, and they take on Arsenal. Well, first of all, Derek, Happy New Year to you. I just hope the players went to bed at a reasonable time, as we'd love to see a really good game here, to start the new year off with a bang. Imaginative, visionary, Philip Coutinho is a player to watch. Well, Derek, when he's on form, when he's focused, he's a brilliant runner with the ball. He can take on players, he can go past people with ease, and he's got a great shot on him as well. I'm really looking forward to watching him play today. And here's the starting 11 for Aston Villa. Emilio Martinez is the goalkeeper. Luca Dina plays with Matty Cash in the fullback positions. Leon Bailey starts with Coutinho out wide. And leading the line today is Ollie Watkins. And a look at the starting lineup for Arsenal. Aaron Ramsdale is the goalkeeper. Thomas Partey starts with Granit Xhaka in the centre of the pitch. And leading the line today is Gabriel Jesus. And they kick off here. Coutinho, Watkins, now the attack looks promising, but really sticking to the task defensively, and he's broken free, in it goes, an early goal, no wonder they're celebrating. Well, just look at his strength here. He holds off the challenge, he keeps his balance, and he finds the back of the net. It's a wonderful goal. So the match has restarted. 1-0 here. Coutinho, there to win it back. Esri Consa. And Emiliano Martinez has it. Consa. And here is Mings. Good tackle. Bukayo Saka. And ball back with Arsenal now. Watkins. Now racing past his man. A glorious chance. Tremendous defending to stonewall him. Bukayo Saka. Splendid tackle and a throw-in coming up. Over the touchline for what will be an Arsenal throw. Well timed tackle. <laughs> Good. 
Good looking sequence. But they took care of the situation defensively. And dribbling with it, but out of play. Cash. Just not looking confident in possession. Bubakar Kamara. Ramsey has it. Watkins. Trying to really get at the opposition here. And the keeper has denied him. Well, I've got to say, Derek, he was always in control of that situation. Brilliant stuff. Playing it in. Well, not quite accurate enough. Well, his movement was good. He attacked it well, but he just got underneath it. Martin Odegaard, Aston Villa regaining possession. Ramsey. Oh, he's left his marker for dead. Oh, he wasn't ruthless enough in front of goal. Keeper has it now. Well, Arsenal are still in this, but unless they show more composure in front of goal, this is going to be a frustrating day for them. Well, they're in possession now. Let's find out what they can do with the ball. Not the That's a foul, and it will be a potentially dangerous free kick. Well, he decided to take it on. How close it was. Well, I thought that was coming into the box. It takes a lot of confidence to try that. Not rewarded on this occasion, though. And the referee has decided to add on three additional minutes. Martin Odegaard. Really good challenge. A danger here as he runs at them. Bailey. Credit to them for winning back possession. And there goes the half-time whistle. That will do it for the first half here at Villa Park. We certainly have got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Stuart. Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half. Well, underway once more. And it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in the second half. Well, they know they need to stop him. And 
And space for him to cut in. And the keeper got there. And short it is. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Well, pressure building, another corner. Short corner it is. They'll repeat the trick, corner again. Over it comes. Well, really fine goalkeeping. Good diving stop. But he's gone short with it. Happy to take on the shot. Well, the keeper committed himself. John McGinn. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Ramsey. Coutinho. Cash. Bubakar Kamara. Now they stopped them in their tracks. Well, as we can see, Arsenal dominated the ball in the last 15 minutes and have been really positive with it. They're creating opportunities and it's surely only a matter of time before they draw level here. Well, not hard to read that pass. Arsenal get the advantage from the referee. And it's Gabriel Jesus. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Bailey. Now ruled to have taken up an illegal position only just. And time for the change now. To be replaced by number three, Kieran Tierney. And he saw the situation developing. Jesus. So almost at full time, and the home side on course to eke out a narrow win. Stuart, your thoughts? Well, it's been a tight game, but I think they've been the better team. They've just had that little bit more quality, certainly in attack, and of course they've been well organised at the back. They just need to see this through now. And the emphasis is on creativity. But nothing comes of it. Just 10 minutes remaining here. This looks more than decent. Well, it looked promising, but the keeper taking command of the situation. He's in behind. Oh, a smart save. And that keeps them in with a chance. Well, there's still a bit of time left. Can this inspire them to go and get the equaliser? Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game.
Let's see about the delivery. Well cleared away. Ball played nicely. Coutinho. Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. Gabriel Jesus. The electronic board has been held in the air and we're going to have a minimum of four added minutes. Well, the outcome is a free kick here. Watkins. Coutinho. Oh, beating his opponent with ease. And a fine stop. Well, they'll be looking to add to their advantage from this corner. Trying to pick out a teammate and clearing it away. Luca Dean. And that will do it. The final whistle is sounded and it goes into the books as a win for Aston Villa. What did you make of it? Well, Derek, it was very competitive. Chances at both ends, but I feel they were the better team and they deserve their victory. Well, this man has given us plenty of reasons to dwell on his performance, hasn't he, Stuart? Well, I enjoyed watching him today. His work rate, skill and movement were excellent, and he fully deserved to score that winning goal.